The North Korean leader Kim Jong-un has vowed to develop ties with China to a new high. He made the comments after meeting with the high-level Chinese delegation that was in North Korea to mark the 70th Korean War anniversary, also known as the Victory Day Parade. The visiting Chinese delegation was led by the Communist Party's Politburo member, Li Hongzhong, who handed over a letter from President Xi Jinping to the North Korean leader. The delegation also held a meeting with other North Korean officials, and it's not just the Chinese officials, but North Korea has also invited the Russian Defense Minister, Sergei Shogu, to mark the Victory Day anniversary. This is the first time that North Korea has in fact invited other countries' delegations to attend the domestic events after the COVID pandemic. Now, both Chinese and the Russian officials have shared the stage with the North Korean leader at a military parade in Pyongyang. They also had reviewed North Korea's latest nuclear-capable missiles and drone attacks. The parade included North Korea's latest Fusong-17 and Fusong-18 intercontinental ballistic missiles, as reported by North Korean state media. They believed to have the range to strike anywhere in the United States. Now, these missiles are also banned by the United Nations Security Council with Chinese and Russian support. The United States has not confirmed as to what weapons were reviewed in the parade, but has commented that all member states of the United Nations share the same responsibility to uphold the Security Council resolutions. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.